Kiss My Batch, we are previewing the EPL and keeping in trend with last year, 2019. And we are going to talk about two teams who have caused the most surprise to the table by just how they have bounced back against defeats. And uh, I mean, basically caused a whole new... Yeah, yeah. That, that shone through besides the popular the surprise uh, clubs, package. the yeah. surprise package that you know, have been performing and, you yeah. know, punching, uh, I think, punching above their, yeah. Yeah. their weight. Above their um, weight yeah. Who we are talking about is Wolves and Sheffield United. Yeah. And Sheffield United is one of the teams that just got promoted. Yeah. Yeah. And they are nowhere in the bottom five. No one expected them. No one both. expected. And they are playing yeah. good soccer. Yeah. And I think yeah. Farid was just saying that they are the top three best defensive yeah. uh, teams, right? Shed second with Leicester. Shed second with Leicester. Yeah. That means yeah. they considered one of the least they are the top three clubs that considered the least goals Correct. in the Premier League so far and we are already 21 games into the season just past the halfway uh, mark yes so will they continue they are con- you know their they are form especially Sheffield United I think for, for Sheffield United right they, they are basing their fantastic for, uh, performance so far by their very very good defence mm. okay, they only 19 goals with uh, Leicester the uh, second second best they are not scoring too many goals but they are scoring enough and then defending it until the end of the game that's where mm. they get all uh, their their points from yep. so it's, it's it's nice and refreshing to see lah because usually we will be seeing uh, the the normal six and then uh, maybe some others which will drop but these two is actually pushing uh, with if sheffield uh, united can actually go to fifth because with the inconsistencies of uh, Manchester United and uh, one more is uh, Spurs, Spurs. Uh, they can actually took over. So Sheffield United, I think if they can uh, finish in the top 10, uh, which location maybe slightly higher, 7 or 8, but they, I don't think they can reach, they will reach uh, 6. Yeah. Or fifth. Hey, notice yeah. you never even mentioned Arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> Arsenal <laughs> From is 13 now they now, become now ch- 10, right? 10, right? <laughs> the thing is that it's, it's very, very close. But uh, Sheffield United and, and Wolves has been surprising all, uh, a lot of people. We know Wolves from last year. They use they have a bit more of this uh, Spanish, Portuguese players yeah. uh, which fits their, their, their coach. And Raul Jimenez, uh, Jota and Neto this year. They have a lot of very, very good young players and they play... Uh, Nice football things like we like to see, yeah, not just defensively like Sheffield. Even pre Alteta, um, before Alteta came to Arsenal, right? I was really jealous at how Sheffield United played. You know, yeah, yep. they were so calm even yeah. against Liverpool. Yes, they still can pass at the back. They yes. can still shield the ball. Yeah, it's okay. We don't get, we don't panic. We yeah. pass it nicely. Even Wolves also, and the thing about Wolves, right? Their energy is yes. throughout that ninety minutes. You know, they play all the way until yep. until the end. It's just unfortunate, lah. Their last game, they 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 lost, lah, to Watford. But I think they're playing well. Sheffield, Sheffield, and Wolves gave Liverpool, who is uh, top of the league right now, the uh, the most frightening moments, no? Because they uh, Liverpool beat them both only by one nil uh, against Sheffield United. It was a horrendous mistake. It was a horrendous mistake by the keeper. He slipped the ball and he went in. And against Wolves, we saw how it, it went. It, to me personally, it should have been at least a draw, not a loss to Wolves because they, they did prove that they can come back, but luck wasn't on their side. And they were only playing one and a half days after their defeat to Man City. Yeah. So and there was even talk that uh, Arsenal would take the Wolves manager uh, Esprito, mm. yeah. What? Esprito, what's his name? Uh? I don't know. He yeah. just got a beard, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, and white hair, beard, yeah. and he seems to be uh, connecting with the players. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Spanish, well. yeah. basically yeah. the yeah. Spanish gang, yeah. yeah. Never heard of it. No, yeah. but but also uh, if you if you take a look closely, right, these two teams, uh, especially Sheffield, right, they've had a good uh, mix of fixtures. As in the fixtures. List has been very kind to them. Uh, they don't have a run of uh, yeah. strong teams. That's so time. They, they always have like a in-betweens. Like they do well and then they probably lose or draw and then they'll probably win the next one. So it's because they are facing teams that are inconsistent. Yeah. So it, it, I see. Is, your, is your fixture list to also be blamed? I mean, mm. I mean of course. It plays this, a part. It plays a part. Yeah. So for Sheffield, they have like a easy sort of uh, neither here or there kind of feel uh, and then of course like Arsenal suffered in fact if you look at Arsenal's coming up coming fixtures 
you have a tough run to 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 meet. You have like you got Man City soon. You have Chelsea again. Chelsea United. We we also one game at a time. <laughs> <laughs> we, we also so same, I mean I mean uh, the fixture list has been kind to these two teams. Hey, yeah, but look looking at Spurs, the last four games, uh, it has been kind to them also. But yeah. they can't even get more than four points. No, like that, that's why that's we in the during you know the early days when we started this, mm. when Spurs were just losing and losing and yeah. losing, and mm. we we were saying that you know the dressing room has no unity, no teamwork. Mm. It's just proving the same thing. Jose Mourinho can come and and yeah. try to gel the team, but he's no miracle worker. Yeah, we all know that. Like he mm. cannot pull emotions because mm. this guy has no emotion. Mm. Jose Mourinho is not an emotional manager. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. He yeah, plays yeah. with his mouth. Mm. Like he only talks. He has no heart, lah. He only mm. talks about it with his mind. Mm-hmm. So I feel like at this moment, whatever crisis Spurs is feeling, any manager can come in. They can't be rescued. They probably have to sell the toxic in a way. So, yeah. so you think that uh, okay, going back to Wolves and Sheffield United, yeah. right? They they should be seeing. They should deserve Europa action after this, after this season. No, I Eu- know. Europa is uh, up to six, six place, right? Six place. So that means yeah. they have to contest with Ch- uh, United. Man United and Spurs. I mean, I mean Chelsea. Yeah. And Chelsea, Chelsea in in fourth right now mm. because yeah. uh, Chelsea uh, widened the gap slightly a bit yeah. from yeah. Manchester United yeah. yesterday, yeah. but. I don't think they are no, that level. But at least top ten, caliber. top ten, yeah. top ten. I think maybe yeah. seven or eight. Mm, uh, yeah. They they will be there. They will be disturbing the top six. They will be disturbing top six. They will be taking points away from the top six. Hopefully not from us. Mm. But uh, I mean, look at it like Sheffield United. I don't like from ten and below, right? You see the you know the Southampton. You see the Newcastle, Brighton, uh, Burnley. I don't think they will push on. Like they are not. Mm. The, they are the chasing pack. Mm. But I don't think they'll push on to try to take the tenth position. So I feel like it's it's there for Sheffield to take. For Wolves, is the best they can probably get is where they are now, like seventh mm, position. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you still have teams like Arsenal, Everton, and Crystal Palace who have that caliber. They they are usually yes. at that spot. Mm. I mean, Arsenal further up, but mm. but. Crystal Palace, Everton, they are the usual seven, seven mm. position, mm. six position, you know. So it's it's a fight there lah. But so so um, let's say I'm comparing Crystal Palace and Everton with she- Wolves and Sheffield United, right? Definitely Wolves and Sheffield United have been performing better than this. Definitely, yes, definitely. definitely. Yeah, but maybe with uh, Ancelotti now in, uh, yeah. they uh, Everton is gonna improve a bit, but it's also difficult because he's taking over someone else's team, so. Uh, it will it takes be, a while. It takes a while. Yeah. Uh, maybe after one more transfer window, uh, yeah. next transfer window in uh, June, mm-hmm. yeah. then he can get possibly his own team. What makes I think for me Wolves and Sheffield United so high up in the table right now is like what Satish said earlier on in the show. It's uh, the inconsistencies of everybody. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's why they 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 uh, they can somehow uh, be up there. They are hard teams to beat. Although now Wolverhampton Wanderers just had two losses in a row, but they had only uh, for both of them Sheffield and Wolves. Only five loss per se- this season, yep. the same as Manchester City. So it's hard to beat them. And but I, if you have to choose between Wolves and Sheffield United, like who do I like to watch more? I think I like to watch Wolves uh, more because of their yeah. style. Yeah. style and they play. are intense. Wolves is a very intense yes. team. Yes, and they they, they are have very the skillful. Bodybuilder, not a bodybuilder. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adama Traore. Yeah. You saw how he was four years ago. Yeah. He was like me, and then he becomes <laughs> like him. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> but with Barcelona, I'm a fan. Uh. <laughs> that fellow was so small when he was yeah. at Barcelona, and then and he was saying in the interview that it was all natural. Yeah, yeah. steroids. Gross yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we smell, we smell, we smell the bullshit. Natural, natural.